Hello my angels and devils, or should I say, oh my angels and devils, welcome to Spooktober. I'm Amanda Christina, this is Heavenly Imaginings, and today I'm going to show you the shortcut version of how to do these really cute mini chuppa chup holders. I've done some Frankenstein and some Mike Wazowski, because that was just nice and simple. Now you're going to need some mini chuppa chups. In Australia you get these at the supermarket. You can get these at the reject shop and you can get them online at catch of the day. I am not sure about overseas. I know they sell them in England because my sister bought me back some. However, I am not sure about anywhere else in the world. I apologize, but um, yes, they do exist. So you might be able to get them on Amazon and stuff. So what you can start with is a four inch by one and one eighth of an inch piece of cardstock. You score it at half, one and a half, two and a half, and three and a half and that gives you your shape now you have two ways you can do this if you have a sort of anywhere hole punch this is probably the easiest way to do it because you don't need any glue except for like your decorations on the front and you can you know you could do these in so many different designs and things these were just the ones I sort of came up with what I had here so you just go pop your hole through then see which way it works best together pop your lollipop in now don't panic if you don't have a hole punch because before i started doing this and then you just there's a little sort of twisty way that you help get it in so you twist it through if you're oh of course i just broke that one I haven't broken any of these and then I just break that one that's hilarious okay so then that's what you get you're just gonna be very gentle as you twist it through but if you don't have the hole punch or you can't be bothered doing that there is a really simple way of doing this so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find approximately the middle of this you're gonna take your scissors sorry for using the huge scissors everyone um so we're gonna take the scissors cut a small bit out just give me a second while i pull these get rid of these little excess bits now this is going to look like it won't work so now you've got your little pieces cut out so you're going to pop your lollipop in you're going to grab some glue And you're just going to pop some it would help if i'd um checked my glue before i started or at least shaken it down somewhat oh, there we go so you're just going to put glue on each of your panels you're gonna fold them up over your stem fold these ones around and hold them for a second and it does it gives you the same finish only instead of having a hole already there you've created your hole and instead of having to fiddle around it's a little bit less fiddly well it depends on what you find fiddly it took me a little while to get the hang of doing it that way but I do prefer it with the holes already in it but either way works and that's the point and then to get your decoration I, these are one eight by one inch squares so i just pop these on and then to do the eye which i didn't grab any of the decoration to do the just the eye i just used the biggest eyes i had to do the mike wazowskis to do the frankensteins i cut up half inch pieces of pattern paper uh, of, not pattern paper of the black card stock which i had left and then i just cut it at different angles some of them i ended up getting to use to do two some of them didn't quite work out that way but it is such a fun little project you'll have so much fun doing this and it looks so cool everyone's been commenting on these and these are just my little extra things that i made to give to nurses and doctors and people for spooktober because you know me i like to have some stuff and if i was having at home i would probably put some stuff out and give them out to trick-or-treaters because it's kind of fun to 
have something fun like this to give away. So stay tuned for a little bit more Spooktober. There's only one more project to go and that'll be it for 2019. I'm honestly really sad that I didn't get to do a full month for Spooktober. It's kind of been hard for me not to be doing lots of Spooktober projects, but I did get some done and that at the end of the day, that is the main thing. Remember, as always, you are incredible. You are amazing. And yes, no, 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 say that more convincingly, please. Yes, you truly do matter. Will you be giving, oh, and also, before you go, let me know, will you be giving this a go? Bye, all.